uh, Monday without a little bit of wine, huh? Uh, <laughs> Jimmy Santangelo here from the Wine Academy of Utah. Jimmy, thank you so much for coming. You got it. Thank you for having me to celebrate Wine and Cheese Day. Yeah, now technically Wine and Cheese Day was yesterday, but it really is the gift that keeps on giving the holiday that just continues on. You just got to celebrate it all week. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all week, all month, all year for some folks, maybe a continued decade. But anyway, uh, you, you've got some great wines. You've got some great pairings. Uh, why? This is a, a kind of ham-fisted question. But sure. Why does wine and cheese, why do they go together so well? That's a great question. The saltiness and the cheese and the acidity or tannin in wines really go well with one another. Here, tell you what, let's jump into it. We've okay, got yeah. A, we've got an array of wines and cheeses. We've got Italy, we have France, and then we've got Spain. In Italy... The major players. The major players. Yeah. And in Italy, you have the uh, Pecorino Romano that we have here. This is a sheep-based age. And you know, Pecorino is like dry and salty and like, mm. yeah, you don't usually eat that on its own? Guess what pour a little bit of prosecco beautiful sparkling wine from italy the acidity in this wine will knock out and lower that saltiness bringing out the rich fatty deliciousness of the pecorino you'll never have pecorino like this again it's i love beautiful. that i love that moving over to uh, uh france we have louis latour prominent uh winemaker and producer there this is from the montagne region all this is a chardonnay but we call it white burgundy <laughs> okay. and it's from that crew and all these beautiful things beautiful orchard fruit delicious creamy pear well we have dolce de borgogna a cow's based cream milk all that rich, fat, beautiful texture needs a wine to stand up to it. Now, do this is a, another dumb question. I am not well versed on wines. Do the wines have to be paired with like Italian wine? Does it have to be Italian cheese or French wine, French yeah, cheese? Yeah, they don't have to be, but it's fun to be able to celebrate National Wine and Cheese Day to do that. As long as you have the principles of good acidity or good tannin in a wine, to knock out that saltiness in the cheese, you'll be good to go. Okay, well that's good. Well, uh, over here in America, we, we don't do too bad for ourselves in uh, California, Not right? at all. In fact, this is from Santa Ynez. This is by Rick Longoria Winery. This is a Tempranillo. So Tempranillo is a grape varietal in Spain. So we went with a Spanish cheese. This is a sheep's manchego, aged six months. So think of a cheddar, a white cheddar, but more deliciousness to it. More deliciousness <laughs> to it. Well, speaking of more deliciousness, you could really uh, kind of make a whole meal out of this stuff if you want. Oh, and yeah. <laughs> you're, like, you're like, yes, I have done that. That, that is a thing I've done. But uh, we were talking a little bit about the honey before we came on the air. Yes. You could actually put honey on top of really any of them. It's right? a great producer of honey. This is an orange blossom. You can do a little drizzle over your harder cheeses, really brings it out. Dancing around this cheese board are Marcona almonds. That also provides some fatty, salty richness. And then uh, an everything uh, flavored cracker. What's better than that? You know, I got to go to my roots. I like that. And then I just looking at this, all I think we need is a little prosciutto with a little like salt, some salty meat. Well, now you're just showing off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm telling you, I like to eat and I, I don't mind a glass of wine every now and again. If folks are looking for more information or maybe some ideas for pairings and things, where, where can they go to find that? Absolutely. Two sources, wineacademyofutah.com naturally, my company. We've got all the information there, but when you next time you're at Harmon's, go to their deli. You'll have these fun wine and cheese cards showing what types of cheeses pair with what types of wine. I could use. I live right next to a Harmon's. Oh. This this could be absolutely perfect. Forget about it. <laughs> Forget about it. <laughs> Look, I'm going to get one of these next time I'm at Harmon's, and you can too, you guys. Jimmy, thank you so much for coming in, man. Really appreciate it. You got it. Cheers. And if you want to leave any bottles, yeah. that's okay too. <laughs> Or it's some cheese, but Understood. maybe the bottles. Understood. You know, you know. <laughs> what do we got coming up next, Buddha?